Leo ninatengeneza meza kubwa uh, lakini um, mimi ni fundi mbaya so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Max. I'm a confused and an excited man and I made a table and I'm gonna show you how I made the table and a little bit about why I made the table. I'm not much of a builder of tables. This is the first table I've built, but I want to show you how I made the table. So both Maria and I really like DIY and being creative and inventive. Here's a preview to her awesome video. If you haven't gotten a chance, you should definitely, you should definitely check that one out. So like and subscribe, we're really trying to grow this channel. Uh, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We're over the moon. And I made a 3D model of the design that I wanted to do for the legs, which is kind of this A-frame that uses the golden ratio maybe based on some of the construction that I'd seen here and what made sense with the materials I had. Getting it to fit together in a way that was gonna be naturally pretty strong was an interesting challenge and the modeling was a cool way to do that. So we went to a local lumber place and got an amazing big slab of mahogany, which is the top, but the rest of it I sourced from wood that was just locally around. There are these big, big, thick vines uh, that leave interesting wood that you can use for certain things. The mahogany we were able to get for about $35. The rest of it was just things that were found. So this whole project only cost that much. These come apart like this. Uh, they're a little funky looking, but... And then once I was able to actually get the wood to slot into these pieces of mahogany, uh, without any screws or nails, I knew that I had kind of a dovetail effect that was gonna lend itself to a pretty strong structure for the table. All right, so as you can see here, I've attached the leg onto the board that's gonna be attached to the bottom of the table. So we have this kind of A-frame sort of design. Oh, that's a cool and table then, on its own. Yeah, it's already, it already looks okay. We have this for extra support, and then this is the one that I showed earlier that interlocks. Um, and then this one I've just kind of uh, hooked on here so it's pretty secure. A uh, little bit of wood filler to hide all my numerous mistakes, and some wood glue, and I'm just going to sand this up and make it look real nice. And then it was just a matter of figuring out how to do some other cross supports and how to use some of these dried thick, thick, thick vines that we have uh, to create something that was sort of artistic, artisanal, artisanal, and had a bit of the uh, local aesthetic going on. So when I'm securing everything here, I'm using some wood filler. I'm using some wood glue. I'm also trying to think about how strong this wood is. Some of it is stronger than others and I'm trying to be considerate of the fact that if I put uh, too much weight on some of these decorative pieces here, it's, it's not gonna be very strong. So without knowing a whole lot about the actual brass tacks of constructing tables. I'm trying to create something that's pretty durable. But let me know uh, if you have any suggestions because this has been an absolutely a learning experience. Here I'm joining Max for final touch time of putting some rope on the cross support both for decoration as well as to add some stability.
Sunset, I see a community running along. Well, that's the table. I hope you like it. It's nice to have a table that we can use for various other crafts and things. And it feels pretty solid. Uh, so please like, subscribe, give us feedback. Uh, tell us what you'd like to see. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We're so like pleased to be able to share the amazing things that we're discovering from living in this new and awesome place.